I'm going to use the 10 minutes to draw Jen, and I'm going to start looking at the whole composition. I'm using a compressed charcoal stick, and if you don't press it too hard, you'll be able to erase anything or adjust anything. So I'm going to roughly just draw, freely draw. I'm going to include the beautiful hair coming down over here. So that means I'm going to make the face a little bit smaller in order to include all the hair coming down over here. Keep it soft. Make everything related. The next thing you're going to do, you're going to do some measurement. Less than 10 minutes. So I have to do it really quickly that you're using my eyeballing judgment. And I've been doing portrait for 50 years. So it's, I can get things as really quick and really accurate. But I would like you guys to spend more time uh, doing the measurement. Okay, measurement is very, very critical, important part of the likeness. I'm going to take a look at the chin over here. Take a look at that. So now the next thing I'm going to do, I'm going to focus on, on to see getting the the width of the face compared to the height of the face is right. I think that from the eyebrow to the chin is very similar. The the width from the left to the to this side, uh, inside of the ear. And in that case, I'm going to find the proportion from the top. This is almost like a, a three uh, exact proportion. And I'm going to take a look at that, the eyebrow to the nose, the nostril, and the chin. So this is good. I'm going to press that over here. This is the eyebrows line. And this is the nose. Now I'm going to the, take a look at the eye. The eye usually is it's about one third from the eyebrows to the nose. And you don't need to make it really, really clear and accurate at this point. Just get the rough uh, location. And the, from the nose to the ear on this side, it's just a little bit about two times of the width of the nose. We're going to come back to make correction. Since we are looking for the eyebrows to the chin, it goes to here to here. So that means put the left side over here of the face and the right side we're coming all the way here. So I'm gonna put that the sideburn over here and the ear coming down and here we go coming down over here and then coming onto this side. So this is we can erase it. You don't have to erase that much because the next thing we're gonna do is to cover shadow side. So I'm gonna take a look Coming over here and coming down. This is good. This is the, the shape of the face. This is good. All right, pretty good so far. Now I'm going to come to uh, give the definitions of the location of the eyebrow right over here. And the eye, the location of the eye, start over here, that's corner. And the corner of the eye is right over here. In between, this is about three ego part. So this is the eye, this is the eye, this is good. And on this side, I also have another eye space. Okay, this is good. Right there, and here you go. That's good. Right, take a look at this eye. This is, had some eyeglass, uh, the eyeglasses have some gear, uh, uh, some light effect. And it's okay, that's, that's good. Now the next thing I'm gonna do, I'm gonna cover the whole shadow side. Okay, the whole shadow side over here, take a look at that from here, all the way on this side. Uh, did we talk about when we're drawing the simple objects, we have to looking for the shadow side compared to the light side, right? This is the shadow side. On this side, it's a shadow side on the forehead, like that. So lift the light side a little bit lighter. And take a look at uh, from uh, the top of the mouth over here, coming down over here. Here you go, coming to the bottom over here. So I want you to see the, the whole face, like a sphere shape, right? And here we go. Now you can see the whole face, now it's just rounded. Now take a look at the neck over here also like this, and I'm going to give a little bit indication now compare with the nostril with the eye vertically 
And this, I think this is vertically down, very much like that. Right over here, there's a little triangle. There's the nostril on this side, like that. And we have a club called Portrait Club. So if you are part of my learning community, you can come to uh, join us uh, every week to draw together. Okay, this is good. Now the nose looks a little bit three-dimensional. Okay, coming down over here and take a look at the location of the mouth. Okay, here we go. That's good. That's good. We're going to come back to define it in a moment. All right, there's a little bit shape over here on the cheek. This is actually have a little shadow. This is good. Like that. This is good. And I leave the eyeglasses to later to draw. Okay. This, this is good. Like that. Give a little definition. The nose. Wrap around over here. Okay. This is pretty good. There's a little bit shading. A little bit darker. And... All right, now after this, I'm going to come to shade it a little bit uh, for the hair. This is good. Now I'm going to uh, start shading into the hair. Coming down over here. That's good. Coming down. And the ear can be a little bit darker. Okay, like that. And now I'm going to press it down. It's very easy to draw the hair by blending the whole shape. Yes, here you go. That. Just looking for shapes. The whole big shape. I like to take a look on this side. The hair is a little bit darker than our the face, of course, darker than the face. Okay, here you go. And take a look at the top over here. Looks so nice. There you go. And some catch the shadow. And take a look at the shoulder one more time. I think the shoulder a little bit higher. Way over here. That's good. Okay, now I'm going to add the eyeglasses. Take a look in the middle over here. That's a little bit higher than the eye. And take a look at that. And we can use the eraser to create some highlight. Okay. And when you get the eye and the nose and everything in the right place, getting the eyeglasses in, it just very easy to do. Um, okay, like that. A little bit. Take a look on this side. Okay, here we go. Compare the left side and the right side. That's good. Right there. That's good. Coming over here. Hmm. Pretty good. Like that. When you have the eyeglasses, put it on the person is going to look more real. Okay, that's good. If I spend another half hours on it, I can make it look very, very realistic. This is how we start the quick portrait drawing. If you want to draw and paint with me every week, come to join us on Patreon. I'm looking forward to seeing you soon.